So your boss comes to you and says that he's got this data that he needs to be analyzed. Unfortunately, it's already in a pivot table. And while pivot tables are great for humans to look at, it's not great for computers to look at. So what we're going to do in this video is take a pivoted data set and we're going to unpivot it. We're going to split it open so that the computer can easily read it and we can then create our um, formulas and charts from there. So we have here our data set that is made up of toy companies, the region that they're in, and the number of sales that they've had for each month. Now this is really easy for us to read, but as a computer, it's going to find it a little bit difficult, especially if we're just using the basic formulas. So we're going to unpivot this data so it's all in one neat column that we can then share so that other people that only know the basic formulas can investigate. So we'll start with flatten. Now flatten takes a range and puts it all into one column. We're going to use a little advantage that we have from flatten to take all of this data and put it into three columns. So the first thing we'll do is take our company names. We'll then add an ampersand and then a double quotation mark with a symbol in there that doesn't show up in our data set anywhere. I, I like to use the pipe, which you can find by holding shift and then the key just below backspace. And then another ampersand, choose the months. Again, we'll use an ampersand and that pipe. And then finally, our data set. Press enter on that and unfortunately it gives us an error. Now if we highlight it, it says what the error is. An array value could not be found. That's just saying that we're looking for an array and we can't find one. So if we hold control, shift and enter once we've entered the cell, we get that array formula at the beginning. Press enter on that and we get all of the information that we need. I'm just going to pop that down a little bit so that we can have uh, some room up the top for some headers. Now, the starter here is all in one column. So Roadmasters, then the pipe, then January, then the pipe, then 204 is all in one cell. We need to split that open and have it in three different cells. So the way to do that, we enter the cell. We're always going to keep array formula right at the beginning of the formula. And then start with split. If we have our data set here, we're going to leave that exactly as it is. So go to the end of the data that we just created or the function or formula that we just created. Put a comma. The delimiter is what are we looking for? Well, if we look at the data here, they have these pipes. We're going to split them every time we see a pipe. So we put in the pipe there and press enter and that splits the data into company, month and sales. So now we can take our unpivoted data and use our everyday formulas like SUMIF, COUNTIF and VLOOKUP to extract extra information and then make some charts on this as well. Now there is one more section within the data set that we didn't talk about. That's this region here. If we wanted to add in that region as well, we can go back to our formula and after the company, we can put in the region. So we've got the ampersand, another pipe and another ampersand. We'll put in our regions now and then press enter and that gives us the region. So now we can use, for example, the SUMIF function to determine how many sales there were, for example, in the south. So in total, we had 12,858 sales in the south. So that's the power of unpivot so that we can analyze data that might be somewhat difficult to, to analyze if it's in a pivoted format like we see here. But let's say we've already got this raw data and we need to turn it into a pivot table. We'll take a look at how we do that. But before we do, make sure you head down and give this video a like if it has been helpful to you. And if you do find this a little bit difficult, make sure you leave a comment, ask a question about what's going on with your data and how we can help out. Now, let's say it was the other way around. Let's say your boss actually came to you and said, hey, we've actually got the table in an unpivoted format like this and I want you to turn it into a pivot table. Well, there's a few ways we could do that. First way is using a formula and the second way is using pivot tables. Now pivot tables are very powerful, but I like to use formulas. So we're going to start with that so that uh, we can get used to understanding how formulas and functions work. So we'll start with a query function. Now query takes in some data. So we're going to select this information here. I'm just going to select a small portion and then within the function, press backspace. And that selects the entire data set, including everything below the data set. So it allows for expansion. Now the query is almost plain language. It's called SQL language, but it's very easy to read. So we're going to say select A. Now A is the column A. So in this case, it's the company. And I'm just going to say where A is not null. So that just means we're going to ignore anything blank. If we press enter on this, we just get a list of the companies. 
Let's also, along with this, select column B, because that's our regions. Along with this, let's also select, in this case, we're going to select the sum of uh, D. Now D is our sales here. If we press this, we now get an error. If we highlight or mouse over the error, it tells us what we need to do. So in this case, it says add column to group by aggregation of A. So right at the end of our function, we'll say group by A. Again, we get an error because it's saying we also need to add B to that function. So again, let's add B right at the end. Now, if we press enter on that, we do get the information that we need. However, this is the total sales. And while that's helpful, what we want to do is drill down into the months. So right at the end, we'll just say pivot C. Now C is the months. And if we press enter, we can now see the months. Sure, they are formatted a little bit weird, but it's now usable. Unfortunately, we can't change the format if we try. It just doesn't work, but this is usable. So that's how we can create a pivot table using the query function. Of course, if we don't want the query function, we can use the actual pivot tables that's built into Google Sheets. So we'll click anywhere within our data set. We'll go up to insert pivot table, and then it's going to ask us what is our data and where do we want it? Our data is in A1 to D49, insert to existing sheet. I'm going to click on this window and then I'm going to select somewhere down here. Click on OK, create, and we get this formatted pivot table. We need to fill this in with rows, columns, and values. So under rows, at our, with our data set at the top, we can see we have the company. There's different rows for the company and the region. So from our list, we'll select company and pull it down into rows. And we'll do the same with region. Now we don't need these table uh, totals here. Those aren't doing anything for us, so we'll just untick those. In the columns, we can see up here, we have the months for our columns. So we'll take this period and we, we'll uh, drag it into our columns. And we can see January, February, March, and so on. And finally, our data set in here is going to be made up of sales. So that's our values. And there we have all of the information that we had before, including a grand total. If we don't want to show the grand total, we can just uncheck that. But let's show it because that is quite handy. So that's how we can create a basic pivot table in Google Sheets. But pivot tables can get so in-depth that this is just the basics. And make sure you stay tuned because there is going to be more pivot tables coming in the future. And if you have specific questions, make sure you let us know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.